I cannot stand Manu. He has become more popular than Matiangi. Every household speaks of him. He has, he has no Twitter handle. Yet he has more followers than I do. The problem is, people believe he can do anything. Listen, Mr. Jairo's daughter had been in the ICU for over two weeks. And this Manu guy just came over and prayed for the girl. Two minutes later, the girl was up, coughing, and even asking for a soda. And during doctor strike, he made rounds in Kenyatta National Hospital, treating all those who were sick. I told you, nearly one beer. Ujamala to Kamote. The thing is this. The doctors have more knowledge than he does. And by just a simple act, the girl was up. Ujama is either going to Lodiono or Manatumi or Chama. The real problem is that he's trying to fight our system and challenge how we run this city. Imagine, during the last clearance sale at the social hall, he just at all the buyers, saying that the money gotten from such drives was not benefiting Jawabu City. Ah, Kwani, is he chief audit of Jawabu City? <laughs> we all agree. He's indeed such a threat to us and the rest. Kama tutafanya kitu, he's going to turn these people against us. And can we make him disappear without being suspected? How? how, how? <laughs> you tell us how. It must be something. Like, see, the thing is this. Mm -hmm. This key is always surrounded by a multitude of people. Maybe we try a sniper. Apo <laughs> mepotea. No. A sniper won't work. How about you poison his food? But now the problem with that is always eating with people. That will even create more casualties than we want. I agree with you. This guy is spotless. He has never come closer to a pub or a mama fima. So how can that be? Well, we all got a history. Any scandal? Chicken get? Golden bug? Euro bond? NYS? Samanda? <laughs> he is faultless. He has never bribed a kanjo. And like some of us. What do you mean? Well, you guys, you need to stop this. You hear him? You need to stop this. We cannot take down Manu with all this bickering. For the next two days, we will turn on And then, we make sure we execute this without maligning our names. Deal? Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and talk to this one. <laughs> What's wrong, Manu, my friend? You don't look okay. Is anything wrong today? I am okay. Just the city life injustices. You seem to be concerned with what is happening around. Relax. Things will just fall into place. And uh, <laughs> mind, just stick to your career. <laughs> Manu, at any time when I was Jama, you could have been an activist from from guitar Mosana instead of just being a mere teacher. This is a waste of talent that you know it very well, man. In fact, I think you could make more impact in the society than than you can imagine. I agree with you, Jude. This guy is always rubbing shoulders with all the wrong people and stepping on other people's toes. That's the job of an activist. Actually, you should be partners with the likes of Boniface Bwangi or better yet, be on an investigative TV series. You are very funny, Johanna. By the way, you can be a very good journalist. Manuel, what do you think about let that? us face it. You just do the little that you can and leave the rest to the persons concerned. Actually, that is even why we have the governor and all the others. We have been called to stand out and bring change to the city. But this can't happen if we sit back and watch the evil prosper. And then we sit back and start complaining about the leaders that we choose. I am not an activist, but I am standing out fighting injustices in our community. It is my mandate as a believer to do so. Give this guy a cookie. He has made a very uh, good I cannot agree with you guys. Manuel, stop being, stop trying to be like the general manager in the entire universe. I understand that we are all Christians. But must we always step on others just to, to make them be saved? Aye, guys, Bana. 
Are you trying to politely say that this guy should mind his business and let the rest be? Yes! We are looking for my son of Jay. Officer. This is the guy you're looking for. Ah, in the only mood in a jaribu to be in the regali. How can you betray the son of a captain with the keys? Save your words for the court. Ready? All right. Deciding over the case of the people of the Republic versus Manu of Galileo. We have been accused of political uprising, opposing payment of taxes to the government, malicious destruction of property, murder, and blasphemy by claiming to be the son of God. Je Unakubali Aula. You're lying in saying, Ajam. Manu, please answer the question asked. How do you believe? Jokona, I've never ever denied all the truth about you. It is your clerk who have said so. Counsel, that cannot be a basis to discontinue this case. I will consider the statement a denial from the accused. Please proceed. We have our first witness in the case of the people of the Republic versus Manu of Kamil. Which religion are you? I am a Christian. Kindly hold this Bible and repeat these words after me. That's okay, I have my Bible at home. You have to use the Bible from the God. Are you a I, Reverend Bishop Dr. Sadusi. Do swear that? Do swear that. The evidence I shall give before this court. The evidence that I shall give before this court. Shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Amen. Um. State your full name for the record and tell us what you do. Your Honor, my name is uh, Reverend Bishop Dr. Sadusi. Uh, I am the founder and overseer of Titanic Faith Miracle Ministries International. I am also uh, a member of the Association of the Sanhedrin. We oversee the spiritual matters as well as tax collection of Jawabu City. Uh, let me call to your attention on February 14th, the year of the Lord. Yes. Can they tell us where were you and what you were doing? Yes, Your Honor, we had just come from our powerful evening service and we were just giving alms to the poor. When we had a commotion around uh, the compound of Titanic Faith Miracle Ministries International. Could you kindly uh, describe the scenario? Yes, Your Honor, the crowd had gathered around uh, a man called Manu. He was answering their questions. In fact, I heard him say that he was able to destroy the church and build it in three days. So what you're trying to say is that that is impossible to happen, right? Isn't that obvious? I mean, how can he destroy the church and build it in three days? Who does he think he is? Does he think he is the great architect of Lloyd Wright? I mean, how can such a great out of work be destroyed and built in three days? You know, by saying that, he was not only uh, causing blasphemy, but he was also uh, always hanging around sinners and telling them that he could forgive their sins. So it is fair to state uh, to the court today that that particular statement can be stated as what you call blasphemy. Yes, Your Honor. I mean, how can a son of man be uh, the son of God at the same time? And only the Lord God Most High can forgive the sins of men. You know, Your Honor, he was causing a revolt by telling people not to pay taxes to Jawabu City. How can the city run without people paying taxes? Plus, the people have been following him around and they don't come to church anymore. And that has angered us because the offerings have really gone down. Your Honor, I have no more questions. Counsel, do you have any questions for the witness? No questions, Your Honor. You may call your next witness. I call upon the second witness to the stand, Mrs. Jude Iska.
your name? I, Miss Judiska. Do you swear that? Do swear that. The evidence I shall give before this court. The evidence I shall give in this court. Shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Will you tell the court your name and tell us what you do? My name is Miss Judy Scar. And I'm a housewife. And how do you fend for all these children? Objection, Your Honor. The question has no basis in this case. Overruled. Kindly rephrase the question. Mrs. Jude, how do you know the defendant before this court? My, my late husband. My beloved Jude. <laughs> he used to work with the defendant before his demise. He was our sole breadwinner. Do tell the court, which kind of work is this? He was the treasurer of an association founded by that man. They went for several missions in the city with him. So, do you know how much he was being paid? Objection, Your Honor. What does the business kitchen have to do with this? It has everything to do with this, Your Honor. Please, allow me to continue. Sustained. You may continue. Could you tell the court whether he was well paid for the work that he did? I believe he wasn't, though we never went hungry. My children and I always fed on some leftovers he came home with. He said they were from some miracles that the defendant performed. Was he happy doing what he did? No, no he wasn't. And that's why he killed himself. My husband is dead today because of him. Because of this man. He is to blame for my husband's death. Miss Jude, you will reduce the decibel level of your voice in my courtroom. Sorry. I'm sorry, Your Honor. But I'm in pain. My heart bleeds. And I hope I'll find justice for my husband. I have no further questions. Um, Mrs. Jude, I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, do you recognize this exhibit before the court? This was my husband's suicide note. And uh, does it indicate why he took his life? Are you blind? I know you're hurting, but there's no need to be rude. Kindly read for us the third line. Why are you adding salt to injury? I've already accepted my fate. I want to move on. Please. But it's just simple image. Just read to the court. Please! Objection, Your Honor. Counsel is harassing my witness. Sustain. Counsel. The witness cannot be forced to be something she's uncomfortable with. Okay, then. I will read. I'm sorry. I regret taking the money that was offered to me. And as I cannot live with the guilt of what I did to Manu, I am better off dead. Signed off, Mr. Jude. Does this letter in any way indicate that it was the defendant before us who actually forced your husband to kill himself? If it were not for his association with this man, my beloved Jude will be alive today. This man is to blame for his death and I will never ever forgive him. Never! I have no further questions, Your Honor. There's a special witness who would like to testify. I call upon the witness there. Can you state your name for the record and tell us what you do? My name is Mwira and I am a student at Brownsville Academy. I am in 11th grade. Is there anything you would like to tell the court? Yes, sir. I have no future in school as but Jude was my father and the only one working at home. I do not know how I live without him. How are you able to tell the court how daddy died? Objection, Your Honor. Why should the child be taken to such torment? Overruled. We need to hear from the child if she really wishes to relay the information. Thank you. So, Moira, can you tell the court 
how your dad, as Pajud, died. Yes. I was coming home from school and passed by the field where the local football matches were held. I noticed a huge crowd, and when I approached, everyone went quiet. And? As I looked up, I saw him hanging. Did you know why he did that? Objection, Your Honor. The persecutor is trying to intimidate the child who knew the death upon seeing the death room. Sustain. Cancel. Please rephrase the question. Did you find out the cause of his death? Yes. He killed himself because of that man. And now I have no future. And look at my siblings. I have no further questions, Your Honor. I'm Davis Wangira Kijana Paruparu Kutoka Pungoma Jirani Awe Tangula. Do you swear that? Nigependa Kujeti Akwamba. The evidence that shall give in this court. Iu Jeti Nitatoka Katika Iu Koti. Shall be the truth. Itako Ukweli. The whole truth. Ukweli. And nothing but the truth. Na Engina Mbao Si Uchi Ukweli. So help me God. Mungu Nisaiti Aki. Mr. Davis, yes. on 30th January, the year of the Lord, where were you and ah. what were you doing? That same day, what something has happened? Oh, Nilikuwa nimeweka kuku hiyo upande mwingine. Hizo kingine nimeweka korokoro za maiti. Wakafuruka kuku, kuku zikakula korokoro zote za maiti. Na kwambia uzi nimechawa na hasira vipaya sana. Walinipeleka hasara kubwa sana. Wamenirudisha nyuma kama hii timu ya Arsenal. How much did you said you lost that particular day? 150 plus 150 plus 150. Hiyo zini 250. Nilipoteza 250,000. Kuku tu, kuku tu. Mimi hata nikaekwa za hizi hapa niko hapa tu na KFC na chicken nini? Hapa tu, hapa tu. And the defendant that you actually say did that did that thing that particular day. Is he here on this particular court? Sinu chama. Pile macho ni wasiwasi. Mtu angalia, angalia. Hata nyweli haizi nyoo. Angalia. Mtu wasiwasi. I have no further question you know. Wasiwasi. Hold up your temper. Sina kazirishi sai. Uh Mr. Dennis. Sema mrembo. Uh, you said that on this particular day that um, your wife gave birth to a son. Could I be saying that you were probably confused because of the good news that you had and you confused the defendant's face with someone else? Deep in my heart. Let me ask you a question. What is confusion? What is confusion? This is not confusion. It's a coincidence. So you're actually telling the court that he is the person you saw. Uyu cho uyu chama, angali yu macho bendi naka wasiwasi. Kichana hata situa risaliwa kwa nini, angetolewa tu kama mainti tu watu wakule pop coach. I have no further questions, your honor. What religion are you, sir? I am a Christian. Can you hold this Bible with your right hand and repeat these words after me? I, your name? I, Johnny Walker. Do you swear that? Do you swear that? The evidence that I shall be given in this court shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Mr. Walker, can you state your name uh, to the court and tell us what you do? I am Johnny Walker, a uh, best wine seller in Jawabu City and beyond, and I'm also the best internationally. And do you know the defendant before the court? We've not officially met, but he must be the reason I'm counting losses in my business. What do you mean by that particular statement? On this particular day, I was given a contract to supply uh, wine at a wedding in Cabanas. But uh, I usually have an assistant ready to offer more wine if it runs out. But on this day, when the wine ran out, he asked for extra jars, filled them with water, and turned it to wine. So do you tell the court if the wine was genuine, or it was not genuine? It's not, the issue is not whether the wine was genuine or not. The fact is, this guy stole my business for that con, and we all know this guy is a con. So, how much do you, do you say that you actually lost that particular day? 350 wanyes, sir. <laughs> In English, sir, what are wanyes? 
150,000 shillings in capital letters and he must pay for that loss. And so you may cross-examine the witness. Uh, Mr. Walker, with regard to a wedding or an event, do you have a contract that states that you're the only one allowed to provide for wine in case it gets depleted? Oh, well, uh... Remember, remember that you're under oath. Objection, Your Honor. The counsel is harassing my witness. Sustained. You may continue. Okay, did you have a contract or not? It, might, it may not have to be written on paper, but usually it was tete tete with a couple. So, was my defendant actually paid for this wine or not? They should not whether he was paid or not, but he never got for the money for the wine. And this guy pulls the same trick wherever he goes. He must be stopped. I have no further questions, Your Honor. Before I leave, I have a, I have a small gift for my lord. My name is Chris Tojo. Kindly hold this bag over the right hand and repeat these words after me. Mm. Kindly, we have to save time. I, your name? I, Maduchi Munyewe, Superman. Do Rasta. Swear, do you swear that? Na I mean, I na, swear. The evidence that I've given is court? The evidence that I've given is court. Shout the truth. The whole truth? Hakuna vako. And nothing but the truth. Yani, uwe la kabisa. So Sajajo, come chini. Can you list your names and what you do for the record of this court? Madam Maduchi, Subhan Bonyeva, Rastaman, Muzajwaja Babu Mutaani. Mr. Maduchi, yes. On 30th January, the year of the Lord, tell us where you are and what you're doing. Because I used to be Sajaja. You need to come to Bazaar and go to the Maribio Mutaani. You used to make up, you make up business to get my pizza now, Abuja. Wakuja on the Java Java fresh Kabisa. I take in a last minute as a pan of the event. Eh? Napata, Lafuki for Laflanik and Akuja. Kinorana Vilana come, Shamona, and Akuja, and Akuja me, and Biba Nyaunio. Bebanini, Nyaunio, Lafana come, and Lakubiti Kase Paso, Pasoko. Qua make, qua make, qua make, qua make, qua make, qua make. A Kinifikia, Bari, Bla, Bla, Nimidos. Can you recognize that person in front of this court? Kindly tell the court how much you actually lost on that particular day. How much exactly are we talking about? Asa tonge le kutu kusu kitu seventy thousand seventy thousand shillings. In ipoteza seventy k into angu ge kwata ni wewe tu ungi kwa ni wewe. Zani ungu besi mama pana seventy k. This is matter of I have no further questions, Your Honour. I also have no questions, Your Honour. Tafadhali shikilia hivi pia kwa mkono wako wa kulia na udia hama neno nyuma yangu. Mimi, jina lako? Mimi si Fromena Awit, mama aki. Nina hapa ya kwamba? Nina hapa ya kwa. Ushaidi ambao ni tutuwa katika kesi hii? Usaidi ambao ni tutuwa katika kesi hii? Utakuwa ukweli? Utakuwa ukweli? Na ukweli mtupu. E mungu ni saidi. Can you list it in there for the record? Mimi naitu, eh? Si Fromena Awit. Mama Akini. Mama Soko pia, jina yangu. Tell us what you do. Mi naoza samani. Apo kalisa. On 30th of January, tell us actually what happened. Hey! Muesimiwa. Mimi walikuwa pale hile Soko ya kanisa. Uy 
hiyo kijana anaitwa Manu ilikuja na nyaunyo na kilili ikafukusa sisi wote. Samaki wangu aliangusa wote chini pu. Pesa ikaotea sisi kadala hiyo. Mimi nataka ambie ikoti ambie Manu ilipe mimi. Manu lazima alipe mimi sasa. Na huyo Manu yuko katika koti hii. Sindi hii. Hii kijana hii kwa mimi hii kijana mwenda wa simu hii hapa. Hii kijana mwenda wa simu. Na simu ilipi? I have no further questions yo. Mama Soko, ndiyo. Umetuambia kwamba ni Manu alifanya kitendo hicho, si ndio? Ndiyo. Unaweza kuwa ni sababu gani alifanya hivi? Si alifu, alifu. Amba, were you sending on a day that you were not supposed to? Objection your honor, the council is harassing the witness. Overruled. Kindly rephrase the question. Mtauliza tena. Hii siku ambayo mko mnauza, are you supposed to actually send on this day? So, is it right to say that the defendant before this court today was actually trying to stop you from doing something wrong? Sipia ya likuwa na piana samaki of yofu. Eh? Mwana mimi si use samaki. Ya likuwa na piana samaki. I have no further questions, Your Honor. This court is a journal. The verdict will be given after a short break. All rise. Today we have had various witnesses in the case of the people of the Republic versus Manu of Galileo. Manu of Galileo was accused of political uprising, opposing payment of taxes to the government, malicious destruction of property, murder and blasphemy. The court is ready to give the verdict. Will the defendant please rise? Do you wish to say anything before the sentence is imposed? No, your honor. This is the first time I've ever had to make such a decision. A man charged with over four incidences. From the evidence presented to me in this court today, the defendant is found guilty. <laughs> punishment that warrants this kind of crime is death on the electric cross. This court is dismissed.